Got him. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Man, I am excited about what I get to show you today. First, let me tell you the story. Uh, my son and I yesterday went to a garage sale. It just looking at for something completely different. And when we walked in, we stumbled upon what I thought was the most fantastic thing that we could stumble upon for our new 1964, well, when I say new, new to us, 1964 Alumacraft aluminum boat. Now, my son is out running some errands with his mother, but I want to show you guys this right here. Looky here what we picked up. So, right here, not just one oar, but two oars. Man, I am super excited about this. And per usual, I'm going to need you guys' help. We are going to, and I'll give you a better look at these here in just a second, but we are going to recondition these and, and they're not in that bad of shape. Let me tell you guys, you are not going to believe how much we picked these up for. Before I tell you, do a quick guess down in the comments. Go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it. I'm giving you some time, I'm giving you a little time, just a little more time. $10. The lady said, do you want those? And I was looking at them, I said, yeah, I do. And she goes, well, make me an offer on them. I said, oh, okay, five bucks. She started laughing, she said, how about 15? I said, how about 10? And she goes, I'll do 10. And we snagged them. And they're, they're, man, I believe they're in great condition. So let me show you guys real quick. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so I think that this is probably the worst paddle out of the two. And some of these cracks look like they go all the way through to the other side. So I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was thinking that I could probably put some type of wood filler on this, basically sand them down. And then I thought that I might start with a, uh, like an 80 grit sandpaper and then finish it with a 120, something like that. And sand down both sides. And then maybe kind of put the, the wood filler in here and does that move a little bit yeah it kind of moves just a little bit so give me some advice if you guys have some advice and uh, so I was thinking just putting the wood filler in here and kind of filling in these and then shaping it and then sanding it again with some 120 grit sandpaper and going over both of them like that but this one right here man it looks like it's in a lot better condition than the other I think this is a great find for 10 bucks look at this right here I'll sand all these. I'll probably take these apart. Like this one right here just kind of wiggles just a little bit. This one wiggles just a little bit as well, you can see. So I figure what I would might do is, is take these apart and see if there's anything that needs to be repaired inside of here. And again, I was going to go with the wood filler. Same thing with these right here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, these have Phillips head screws on them. So I'll take these apart. I'll clean these little bad boys up right here and then I'll sand all this down and then re-varnish them after I do all the work to it. But look at that, man. Absolutely excited. And one thing I already did notice because I, I kind of checked it out beforehand is I have these little guys right here. Here, let me move that hook out of the way. That little hook keeps floating around all over the boat. I have these guys right here on both sides and I've got one right here as well. And I think they're for oars, maybe they're for a bimini top, I don't know. But I noticed that So that right there, in my opinion, <laughs> yeah, see, it just pops right out. So in my opinion, that right there is too big, and I don't even know if that's what that's for. Maybe someone that knows more than me tell me is that what this is for right here but it because it definitely doesn't fit in there they don't stay in there but if that is just replacing 
if that's just replacing this right here or is that adding some type of is that adding some type of something inside of here that makes it tighter around this guy right here you guys let me know if you have experience with that look at this right here that's probably the worst part right there on this guy all the way up but i'm excited about these guys and i mean if if they don't go in here or if they don't fit in there you know we can always just use them if we need to but i think they look cool um you know we've got the engine now we're so pumped about that little pieces to the puzzle guys little pieces to the puzzle we're gonna take this and clean it up with a pressure washer and that reminds me so this garage that i'm in this is a storage unit that i have this in it doesn't have any electricity in it except for the lights that come on automatically what type of power station is a good power station that um, I would be able to hook a small sander up to and, you know, lightly sand this thing and shape it out and clean it up that's portable. Not a big generator or anything like that. Um, if you guys know, or if you're a company that happens to stumble upon this video, give me a shout. I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, hit the like button. Please set the hook on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Got him.